This is a short presentation on the Aero 310 Group SA guidelines. There's a file you can open up called Group SA guidelines for Borfall, and it's available on Canvas. And if you were to open up that file, you, you'd get the instructions uh, for a 20 point essay, which is due before week 7. Um, if it's late, it will cost you 10%. There's a 10% penalty. But it's 20% of your course grade, so it's fairly important. And it's intended to be a group or encouraged to be a group exercise, so you can have from 2 to 10 group members if you like. However, group participation is not required. Once again, it is not required. It is just recommended. When your paper is complete, you will submit it on Canvas as a doc file, as a Google Docs or a DocX file on Canvas. And um, make sure that you use a spell and grammar checker. Grammarly, for example, is free, and it's available on Google Docs right now. So there's a fairly hefty penalty for grammar and spelling mistakes, up to five points. Uh, and that's 25% of the paper. So you want to make sure that you do the spell check. The format of the essay is uh, shown in this paragraph. Um, it's uh, about 500 words. If you look at the number of pages, we'd like each group member to write at least one full 500 word page. That's one page single space or two pages, two pages double space. Minimum. That's a minimum. Um, and um, you can put images if you like, but they don't count as text. You can march each per mark each person's contribution if you like, but all members of the group should should participate. The naming convention is to start out with a, either AM or PM, depending on what your section is in capital letters, and then your group number. Uh, if you decide not to join a group, then you would put AM or PM, whatever group number I assign you individually and you might want to put your last name in just to remind me that it's a single person is uh, essay. Um, so the topic of the essay uh, is chosen by students as they're as they're taken I will list them so that you know which ones are left you can start pick a topic at any time because of the COVID crisis this quarter uh, you have a special deal where you can pick a uh, a special topic about the COVID and the, and the protest movement that's going on. And the grading criteria is quite simple. It's basically uh, five points for telling me something I don't know that's technically in, in, interesting, five points, four to five points for the ethical issues, four to five points for the cultural impact, and then up to five points for spelling and grammar if it is correct. As Grammarly, uh, I usually run your essays through Grammarly to see how many mistakes. If you have 10 mistakes in Grammarly, you lose 5 points. It's a half a point per mistake. But I won't take off more than 5 points for a paper. They have the best grammarian uh, English major in your group be the editor and content reviewer in your group. Now the groups can be up to 2 to 10 individuals. Um, you pick your own group. If you want me to put you in a group, I will. Uh, or I will form your own group. We'll cover that in class. But here's a special note on this topic selection. I want you to read this paragraph. So you can choose to write your group essay on living with the COVID virus and the protests of 2020. Make sure that you cover the grading criteria above. Um, and in the bottom line right here at the bottom is, you know, what would you want your grandchildren or great-grandchildren to know sometime in the distant future about the COVID virus and the protests of the year 2020 from your perspective? as a student. So you can write your essay for them. Make it interesting if you can. I mean, I would really like to know what my grandparents went through in 1918 when I lost my aunt as a baby. It the flu virus and the virus killed I think up to between 40 and 50 million people. More people than were killed in World War One. Here is a list of former topics that were chosen. You can pick these if you want. If you don't have your favorite one, if you're not sure about it, then just send me an email. And uh, some people wrote about these places uh, as interesting places to talk about, which is also which was also allowed. As a final note, if your group 
picks the same presentation topic, uh, you can use portions of your essay for the notes uh, that go along with your view graphs. So uh, good luck with this essay. Thank you.